This is The Reporter's Notebook, hosted by Elaine Shane. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this entry in The Notebook. I'm Bryce Anderson in for Elaine Shane with Katie Mysick, DTN Markets Editor, and uh, we're talking about the highlights of the latest Ag Confidence Index. And uh, Katie, I, I guess the, the way to get into this is that uh, things are looking good but is is that kind yes. of the way to get into all this here? That's exactly right. Okay. The overall index score came in at 106.9, which is still a positive reading because it's over 100. But what we do is we track expectations as well as rankings of the present situation. Okay. What we're showing is is about the same as last this time last year. Present situations rated very high, like around 135, but expectations are very pessimistic in the 88 range. Now that 88, uh, fairly low, obviously below 100, is is that uh, the way the scale works? Is that a, a real gloomy outlook, do you think? Well, what it is is farmers are asked, do you think next year's income cr crop uh, input prices mm -hmm. are going to be better, worse, or the same? And it means that more people answered they think it's going to get worse. So it's very comparative. Um, you know, clearly we're coming off of a drought year, and they're expecting us to, you know, the general expectation in the market is very bearish for corn. We're going to have a large crop, and farmers are thinking prices are going to go down. Uh, we uh, recently had a poll out uh, discussing how corn yields were looking. There were, there were some mm -hmm. big differences across the corn belt from east to west. Did, did the confidence index uh, kind of illustrate that same difference? Yes, there is some regional aspects to the index. Midwest, um, the feeling is down a little bit, but still very positive. In the southeast, it is a very gloomy picture. Many of those crop producers have decided they're going to grow corn this year after several years of bad cotton and peanut mm -hmm. crops. And so they're coming in at sort of a bad time. They're looking at you know low prices come the fall and breaking into new corn crowns, so that's expensive. All right. Uh, also, uh, the agribusiness uh, folks are, are uh, checked with, uh, and uh, what, what uh, kind of a mood do the agribusinesses show? They're feeling better than they did after harvest. That index value came in at 104.3, and the shift was really, you know, their expectations uh, shifted down a little bit, but their, or their present situation shifted down a little bit, but their expectations shot up quite a bit. They're looking, you know, agribusinesses like to have bushels to market, okay. and so they're looking forward to the next year and refilling the pipeline. Okay, and uh, I guess finally uh, then, when will the next uh, index be taken? We will take that after the crop is planted and before harvest, so it should be sometime in August. Very interesting, Katie, and of course, uh, everyone be sure to read uh, the articles uh, that uh, discuss the Ag Confidence Index. Katie, thanks very much. Thank you, Bryce. With Katie Mysick, DTN Markets Editor, I'm Bryce Anderson, in for Elaine Shane. Thanks for joining us for this entry in the DTN Reporter's Notebook. This has been the Reporter's Notebook from the DTN Progressive Farmer Newsroom.